हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव फाइनल टिप्स टू स्कोर गुड मार्क्स इन फिजिक्स बोर्ड एग्जाम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द टिप्स बिफोर फिजिक्स एग्जाम सो कंप्लीट द एंटायर सिलेबस फ्रॉम एन दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट पॉइंट आल्सो फॉर फिजिक्स एग्जाम एज द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ द बोर्ड एग्जाम इज ऑलवेज बेस्ड ऑन एन सी आर टी देर फॉर फर्स्ट कंप्लीट द एंटायर सिलेबस फ्रॉम द एन सी आर टी क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स टेक्सट बुक टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी चैप्टर देन कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट सेक्शन ऑल चैप्टर्स आर ऑल चैप्टर्स आर ऑल अबाउट फॉर्मूला थियोरीज कंसेप्ट एंड यू आर ऑलवेज सजेस्टेड टू कीप दम हैंडेड सो मेनटेन ए सेपरेट बुक और ए फोर साइज पेपर्स फॉर डेफिनेशन डायग्राम थियोरीज एंड मैथड्स and even for derivation also because this practice is really useful when you are doing your last minute revision on the examination day now in physics conceptual and formula based questions are mostly asked in the exam so students must be thorough with all the important formulas and it should be in their finger tips practice different types of uh, numerical from all the chapters and practice all the derivation along with proper diagrams so coming to the next the unit wise the unit which carries more marks in the question paper should be given more time to practice and after completing the entire syllabus from the ncert textbook complete the revision notes using my physics uh, minimum level learning remedial plan uh, means uh, complete those revisions uh, from the chapters which included in the remedial plan and the, then go through our previous years board exam questions it gives a broader view of the questions to be asked in the paper moreover it provides more questions to the students to do uh, practice now after completing the revision work now solve cbse official sample paper for physics board exam the first sample paper which was uploaded and the advanced also then start from uh, now coming to the time management uh, this is my suggestion i would like to suggest that the uh, students start from uh, students Uh, start from section A, that is five marks question. Then section D, four marks question, and uh, section uh, then section C is three marks question, and so on. So the suggested time management for section wise, which I am going to give right now for every section, one mark there are sixteen questions, twelve MCQs, and four assertion and reasoning questions. Maximum two minutes, or overall in total maximum thirty five minutes. now coming to two marks question there are only five questions so maximum 4 uh, minutes for each question so overall 20 minutes or 20 to 25 uh, three marks there are seven questions and uh, maximum time to be spent is 5 minutes so maximum time overall 35 minutes now two case study questions in next uh, maximum time for one case study question is 15 minutes so 15 into 2 30 minutes now coming to five marks question uh, which required lot of time for draw diagrams and derivations etc so maximum uh, isme jo hai 15 minutes se zyada nahi lagayenge sometimes what happen uh, the question may come uh, completed uh, in 10 minutes kabhi kabhi 10 minute mein bhi complete ho jata hai but i suggest overall maximum limit is 45 minutes so uh, 15 minutes will be left for revision revision ke liye hamesha time rehna chahiye then 180 minutes so this is the time management which i am going to suggest for completing the paper so what you have to do you have to attempt all my sample papers test which being conducted every sunday so total 12 sample papers have answers ke sath mein so you can uh, complete uh, uh, all all those sample papers with the help of this time management by fixing time for each samples uh, paper as 3 hours including reading time including reading time don't keep separate try to complete uh, within 3 hours including reading time aisa karne se kya hoga ki you will be uh, able to complete before 3 hours so doing enough practice of sample papers boost the level of self confidence of the students so practicing the sample papers also teaches the concept of time management to the students which is very very important that is why i always suggest to solve sample papers by fixing 3 hours time i'm sure that this exercise will help you to complete your board exam in 2 and 1/2 hours now uh, this is before physics exam now during physics exam what you have to do while uh, writing physics exam so let us coming to the first very very important point that is 15 minutes reading time 
so read the question paper with full concentration use the first 15 minutes reading time carefully and effectively by going through uh, the question paper at least twice so marking all the questions which seem difficult and leave them for last right and first attempt to those questions which in which you are confident okay so you are sure about the starting from section e to a which i suggested but agar aap log a to e ke liye zyada practice kiye ho to it is your wish bas main apne sare students ko yahi suggest karta hu ki e to a attempt kiya karo right sometimes in a rush to start solving the paper you miss interpret or miss out on sub parts of the questions even worse you end up providing a two marks answers to a three marks questions or vice versa which is a waste of time always read the questions twice to ensure you understand what is being asked and how much you need to write to get full marks right now understand the worth of each questions never spend too much time 5 to 10 minutes on two marks questions if you don't know the solution for a particular question leave some space agar aapko answers pata nahi hai to jagah chhodo aur fir aage badhte jao okay right answer sheet should be neat and clear rough work should be done on the same page by drawing a separate margin uh, do not cut the rough because uh, what will happen if you could not get the answer partial marks sometimes depends on your luck may be given for time work done so avoid overwriting use pencil and scale to draw the diagrams never draw a diagram with the use of pen right now coming to not, uh, next very important point don't leave any questions unattempted because there is no negative markings write down anything you know about the questions even if it is wrong so there is no negative marking so attempting a question even if you don't know the answer completely will not hurt uh, your marks okay so next is never lose your patience during the exam if you do not know the answers uh, to any questions do not lose your patience after completing the familiar questions take a long breath and think about the concepts involved in that particular question this will definitely help you to recall some steps of that questions right so then you can attempt that questions right now next revise 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 it creates that you get done with the paper before time but do not leave the exam hall yet just yet complete ho gaya bhago yahan se aisa nahi so take a breather relax and start going through your answers double checking your calculations in numerical making sure you haven't committed any silly mistakes always remember that once you leave the exam hall there is no way back okay next डोंट लीव द ईजी क्वेश्चन स्टिल द एंड कभी कभी बच्चे क्या करते हैं डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन शुरू में अटेंड करते हैं सो इससे क्या होता है कि सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस पूरा लो हो जाता है सो ऑलवेज रिमेंबर सो आई हैव नोटिस द दिस वेरी कॉमन टेंडेंसी ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स टू अटेंड द हार्डर क्वेश्चन राइट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग स्टार्ट विद द ईजी क्वेश्चन गेट वॉम द एंड यू विल फाइंड दैट यू कैन गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन पेपर अ लॉट मोर स्मूथली दैन बिफोर दिस विल हेल्प यू फिनिश द पेपर बिफोर टाइम and reduce the likelihood of making silly mistake now one more very important over preparation is a problem i have noticed many times that the students see similar questions start uh, that they may have subsequently committed to memory and write them without going through the problem statement question theek se nahi padhte hain aur similar question dekh ke wohi answer likh dete hain actual question so isliye uh, very important is that read the question very carefully right so these are the uh, some tips for uh, for physics class 12th exam so i wish you all the best for your future god bless you all the best